recording session part 2 and now this time we will be using our initial setup which we are using the mixer going to our um, UCA222 going to our laptop and with audacity now uh, when I plug this one in this setup to the computer the computer just powered this one and immediately because of the monitor setting of this I can monitor this mixer through this one which is powered by the laptop so without the software this one is working already as an interface okay now I try turning this on and I went to the settings but we'll discuss more on the audacity after this one so um, if you want to know more about the settings or the setup I mean you want to know more about our present setup just look on uh, how to record your band using this uh, UCA222 okay okay guys so this is our setting now let's go to edit preference or preferences and then our audio input output we will put this one as our USB codec for the speakers meaning it goes to our um, UCA222 and our recording device is also USB audio codec which is uh, coming from our UCA222 from the Behringer UCA222 and now we just put this as mono for now and then I unclick this one the software playthrough because this is the one that makes the recording uh, or turns the monitor on which uh, in effect is get giving you that delay uh, with the monitor so that um, as I mentioned earlier we are monitoring straight from the UCA222 um, two, two, two monitor so we're just recording through this one but the monitor is coming out from the interface okay um, now that's clear this one as well I uh, the monitor is off so I turn that one off we don't want the monitor here to be enabled or turned on but uh, the important thing is to unclick that playthrough because if you didn't you can you you will be coming back here to turn it off okay so with that said we can now try and record and then when we play back so this one because it's connected the USB is connected instead of the um, laptop um, speakers so it feeds the audio back to our Behringer 222 so if we are going to play later what we've recorded it goes back to our interface hence we can still monitor it so our monitor technically is working independently and not coming from this one if that makes sense okay but the bottom line is don't turn on your monitor from audacity let the uca222 be your uh, monitor as well as your audio uh, interface okay is that a bit vague uh, i can't explain it further than that um, to cut it short to summarize it okay we will not be monitoring our recording via audacity itself we are now using the uca222 so all of the things that we are uh, monitoring in in terms of audio the audio will all be feed uh, to our uca222 let's do some track and then i can explain more when there's track recorded so when i click record it will automatically put an audio here right so let's say i'll record my drum beat but i'll just do a beatbox i'm not very good with it but i'll give it a try and then when 
when we play it back it will play back on my earphones but I'll remove my earphones and put it near the microphone here of the recording so you can hear it okay right so i hope you, you can hear it but um nevertheless i'm gonna uh, export this one later and you will hear it now we will overdub this one so we'll click record again and i will sort of make a wrap uh, of my own uh, i'm not very good rapper as well but let's just say that we're just inventing something here okay Your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, we're family. Okay, so we, we, we did a uh, sort of rubbish rap there, but there's no delay, no need to, to adjust your track. I'll add one more to this one just to make fun of it. And then we'll cut the recording now we'll export this and then play it um, so you can hear what we've accomplished okay but the monitor there's no delay i can hear exactly what's played there i can hear what i'm doing from here the volume maybe i need to sort of adjust because the, the beatboxing is a bit lower than my rap but it's, it's fine for now, it's a raw uh, recording, but we sort of uh, agree that I can record and overdub and put layers of music using Audacity. That's the main thing. And I can monitor it, I can hear myself um, real time, there's no latency now. So that's it. Okay, last recording. Break it down, yo. Chicky, chicky. Right. So what I need to do now is to adjust everything here. You can sort of highlight it. And then there's effects on this one on top. You can either compress or compress. Uh, bass boost. Maybe we'll put that on our beatbox and fade out uh, invert noise removal so let's normalize it for now let's preview okay i'm quite happy with the normalization so we've normalized um, um compress let's say Uh, threshold let's lower the threshold preview again okay I like it but a little bit more preview again okay that's that should be it I think but the volume perhaps this is the volume again uh so low so i can hear it yeah it's the volume that's it um that's all right and then we need this one let's try and edit this as well effects uh, normalize okay uh what else can we do equalize mm -hmm. yeah it's an acoustic that that should be all right and then the volume 
lower it a bit just to balance it out um, yes 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 it's it's getting there and the last bit is this one we need to um that's it we need to put effects um normalized first i think and then i wanted to put a base boost preview wow that's too much of a base uh, preview yeah oh, sort of and then the volume again let's trim this bit which is um, I'm not sure how to do it at the moment maybe highlight and delete yeah okie dokie then uh, export as mp3 uh, okay mix down to a single and then desktop uh, let's put this as brb wrap audacity okay save and just ignore that one for now okay let's see if it's there yeah it's there already okay so that's a wrap guys and uh, I'll put the music as a background. Your mother. Your father. Your brother. Your sister. We're family. Break it down yo. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I learned something today. Um, thanks to Bruce, to my friend Creed. Uh, they're, they're the ones who inspires me all of you guys to be honest um, but your comments especially the constructive comments you know I don't mind you tell me what's wrong but it's not like bashing me or putting me down just point it out then give me the solution or criticize me but you're trying to improve me not putting me down or harassing me so uh, God bless guys. Thank you so much for watching and um, see you again soon if I manage to uh, find something new, something useful and if I learn something uh, about recording, about guitars, about effects pedals. Just keep on tuning to my channel. So thanks again. Bye.